Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and today we will dive into Evernote. It's pretty exciting actually. So without any fluff, let's go through this, okay? So here's the screen and here's Evernote. That's the Mac version of Evernote and it should now start to look all the same on all the different platforms. And there it is. That's your home board. Okay, and I, I like it already just from the looks. We have a scratch pad, so this means we can just add some info quickly. We can go here and then we can convert this to a node. We can clear the scratch pad or we can remove the widget completely. And I think this is already awesome. Let's uh, convert it and you see now we have this as a proper node. When we go back to home, this is gone. So I can just write down some quick notes. We have this already here. When you go on the Mac here or on Windows, you have this as well, you have the quick note and it will stay there. But it seems that this is not connected to the scratch pad, as you can see. So we have the quick note there and we can convert it to a note and we have a scratch pad here. So I would like to see really a connection. As soon as I enter something here in the quick notes, that it will show up in my scratch pad here. Evernote, do you listen? This would be awesome. Okay. And then we have something called pinned node. Uh, we can select a node and that's now a pinned node. So we can, you know, if there's uh, information that we need to look up every day, this is the way you could do this. Then we have notebooks. We are only we have recent notebooks. We were just working in recently. And you see how many notes are in there when it was last updated. And we have suggested notebooks. So this means what are you most likely to use next now? And it is suggested. And I think this is really interesting. That's already some some AI going on, isn't it? see how good this works in the future but obviously inbox i'm working a lot of there and i really have to clean up the inbox it's just a case that evernote was still a document dump for me scanning in stuff and so on so i didn't really care because i used the search function but this might change now with this new dashboard i think this is the right step into the right direction so you see the clever field and you can customize this. You can just go here and you can customize your home. So this means you can change the background here. You can add your own background, something more relaxing, for example. And here you also can then change the widgets. So I used all the widgets available, but I'm sure this is just the start. There's much more to come. So much potential now there. So you see now recent, here's the new scratch pad node that we just created and it shows up as recent. And we go to suggest it, it shows me the same stuff. I'm not as active in Evernote as it might need to be recognizing what I'm really looking for. So that's really something, yeah, it looks good, I have to say. So we can click here, all notes. So I know that where there was one guy on YouTube, he was complaining that the shortcuts become too long and then we have the reason notes there. And then he has to scroll down there. You have now, all notes, the button right here. Just click this and you can go there. You have all your notes available. Um, obviously you can change this to different styles. And what else do we have? Well, recently captured, and this is really interesting. Here we have web clips. So whenever I use the Evernote web clipper, this is actually recognized, okay? So let's just check this. Let's open up Chrome. So let's say we read a very interesting blog post from Tom Solid, maybe. We can just then go here, click the web clipper. And we can just simplify the article. So this read a, a readable form. We can bookmark it. So it will look like this. We can do the full page screenshot and so on. So do, let's do the simplified article. Save clip things. So it also shows me already here the related notes, but let's go back to Evernote. And here we go. See, it just added the web clip here. I can just click here and now we have the simplified article that we just saved. I can change the note width to optimize readability. And now we have a nice article that we can just keep reading through. So I can delete this, I can edit this and all. The links are working in there. That's great. 
and it just showed up in recently captured web clips. That's easy to find now. So we have images, we have documents that we scanned, we have audio files, that's really interesting when you make audio recordings, easy to access now, and we have emails that we saved via the Evernote plugin. That's really interesting as well. And here we have text available now as well. <clears throat> so when we click here, we can go to the text search field. We can simply click one button and it applies the tag. Obviously we have this here as well. We could go, we could go here as well, but I really like the tag cloud that we have here. It seems it's sorted by the amount of tags. And the last thing is we have shortcuts. So shortcuts is not th nothing different than these shortcuts here on the side. That's really nice. Let's go to customize one more time and let's see what we can do here. So you can click here and make it wider, especially for shortcuts, it makes more sense. And obviously you can also reposition the stuff. So the scratch pad will stay there. So also for the scratch pad, you can just make it wider. You can make this third. I really like this. You can make this full size and the pin notes down there. You see the potential here as well. So I think you agree with me that this is an awesome step into the right direction to make Evernote a new experience, an easier way to access my notes. I can really now see it becoming more a note-taking app for me as well, where I can capture information, find it easily later on and so on. Because compared to Notion, for example, we have a much more powerful web clipper. It's so much easier to input new information into Evernote to capture it from any device I am, that I think this becomes really the powerful thing when you also have a proper knowledge management afterwards. So if you're one of my Inner Circle members, you know I talk about the iCore framework, input, control, output, refine. So for me, Evernote was always only input. There was no control. The control was just searching for stuff. Control to me is building up databases, connect them with each other. So we have really easy access to a single source of truth of information. With these new features, I can really see Evernote going the right directions. This being said, I think things that are still missing is for example, the building up proper databases, not only tables where I can type in stuff, but also meaningful databases, you know, a database of people with some information that I then can reference on different pages and so on. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this update. If you also think there's some hope left for Evernote, I'm really excited to see what else we will see in 2021. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any future videos about Evernote, but also other productivity tools that we need in order to get more done in less time. So we can have time for the things that really matter to us, isn't it? I'll catch you up next time.